Hey guys, this is Emmerich from Emmerich's Time Lapse, and today we're gonna create a boomerang hyperlapse. So, this is an amazing, fun effect that I actually uh, played with the past few days on my Instagram post. So, right now I'm gonna show you how to do it with a hyperlapse, but you can do it with any other time lapse. It could be a day to night time lapse. I really suggest and recommend that you do it with a time lapse where there's fast moving stuff on it. So it could be clouds. Uh, actually, it doesn't really work with cars. I would say maybe clouds actually, because you can see the boomerang effect really well in the clouds and the light changing too on a day to night or a night to day. But it actually works amazingly well with a hyperlapse. So if you don't have a hyperlapse, it's all good. I'm actually giving you two hyperlapse for free in HD. So you just click in the link in uh, the description below, enter your email and you will receive a uh, the free files for free, the two hyperlapse. So just so you know, it's just for you. You cannot you know do anything else with those clips. It's just for the tutorial and to practice the uh, boomerang hyperlapse. So today we're gonna work on Premiere Pro, but I'm sure it works for any other editing program if you can actually play with the time remapping, the, the speed of your clip. So I have two clips right there. I have the day tonight. This is one of my posts on Instagram and we have the flat iron building in New York City. So I'm gonna show you only for one. We're gonna work on this one today. Uh, this one is also in the folder so you can play with both time lapses uh, for your own you know, uh, knowledge to practice on your side. All right, so I'm gonna do it in sequence up. Uh, file, new, not sequence, uh, new sequence, okay. We're gonna go in settings and we're gonna go directly to uh, the settings for Instagram. So you can do either a square, 1080 by 1080 or directly a vertical. So it will be four by five, which is 1080 by 1030, uh, 1350, sorry, 1080 by 1350. I don't know what I'm saying. And we can call it hyperlapse boomerang, whatever you want to call it, okay. All right, you'll see it's very easy. So I'm gonna take my hyperlapse and move it over there, okay? So I'm gonna to need to resize it. So I'm gonna go in effect control, scale, and we're gonna move the scale so we don't have those black lines. Okay, perfect. Now you can just move the position, you choose whatever you want. Uh, I kinda of wanna see more of those buildings, okay? And now what we wanna do is very easy. We're gonna do right click, show clip keyframes, time, remapping, and speed. Uh, because we're gonna play with the speed. We want the boomerang effect, which means um, the beginning and end of the hyperlapse is gonna be normal speed and it's gonna go fast in the middle, but we want a smooth transition from normal speed to fast and fast to normal speed. So we're gonna create this right now. So now we're gonna create uh, the keyframe. So I'm gonna select my, ten, my pen tool and I'm gonna create a keyframe, maybe a few frames, like 10 frames after the beginning and same thing at the end like somewhere over there. You can still move them if you want. Then I'm gonna click V on my keyboard and come back to my selection tool. And if I zoom in here, you guys can see better. I'm gonna create the transition. So see now you have an in and an out. So it's gonna be the beginning of the transition and the end of my transition. And we're gonna do the same thing at the end. So make sure it's long enough. So now that we have the two keyframe, we're gonna take the line in the middle right there because the line in the middle is actually your speed. So see if I go up, it actually make my time lapse shorter because uh, it's actually speed up the speeding up the clip. So I'm gonna try to go somewhere around 600% if I can, maybe a little too much, so try 500%. So here you can see we already have something that looks close to a boomerang, but the only thing I don't like is we have too many frames at this normal speed at the beginning and too many at the end. We really want maybe three or four frames of normal speed only. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move those keyframes to kind of make the transition a little bit longer and smoother. Okay, that looks pretty good. And here we're gonna move this one. Okay. All right, that, it has to look like this. Like you can have normal speed, transition too fast, fast speed, transition back to normal speed, and voila, we have the one way boomerang. As you can see, it already looks pretty good. Whoop. And it looks really well with hyperlapses. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're gonna say it's good, we like what it is. So now the next step is to actually uh, duplicate the clip. So I'm actually holding Option on my keyboard and moving the clip, so it actually duplicated. So now we need to actually have the same clip, but reversed. So I'm gonna do Command R and then reverse speed. That pretty easy, okay? And then now we have one way this way up and the other way. It's actually freezing a little bit, so I'm just gonna do a little quick render. And voila. 
and it's perfect, and it's perfect actually. At the end here, you can see we're gonna have twice the same frame. Uh, it's not a big deal, I kinda like it because, I mean, it's up to you. You can actually remove one frame if you want to kinda have it smoother, but I kinda like having um, the same the same frame twice. It kinda make it look a little smoother. Woof. And if you want, usually what I do is actually, I duplicate this back and forth uh, twice. So it's gonna have three times back and forth, and this is what I actually upload on Instagram. So let's see what we have up. There you go, now we have a nice boomerang effect. If you're not happy with the transition, uh, you know, from fast to slow, you can either play with the keyframe or do whatever you want, or you can also, you know, turn this to kind of make the transition look smoother. Um, I, I tried a little bit, I'm not a big, big fan, it just doesn't, it's, it's too smooth, I kind of like the, I mean, you know, it's a style, just play with it, just play with the time remapping and try to build something like this with transition from fast to slow. So see, it's pretty easy. It took me like five minutes to do one uh, because I actually I have to teach you how to do it. But if, I'm, if you know how to do it, it really takes you one or two minutes and boom, you can upload something very fun on Instagram. So this is it guys, this is it for today's video. I also have an amazing offer on my time-lapse masterclass right now. It's $97 only. Plus you get also my latest class, the perfect settings, for the perfect time lapse for free. So if you buy the time lapse masterclass at $97, boom, you get my latest class, uh, the perfect settings for the perfect time lapse for free for nothing. It comes with it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you love time lapse and hyperlapse videos. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao.